News Flash is brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Steel. Fun pa 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 fee. You're still watching Prime Morning, and this segment is the News Flash segment, which is proudly brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. I always urge you to go to Franco Trading Enterprise for all your gadgets. Is the mobile phones you want, television sets, CCTV cameras? I mean, all the gadgets you can think of, they have it. Now, you can actually visit their shops, any of their shops, or you can call them or download the app on your phone, which is Franco Trading App. Or if you want more inquiries, just visit the website www.francotradingenterprise.com. Franco Trading Enterprise, still phone per 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 fee. My name is Rosalind Feli, and I must say I like how my guests are reading. I don't know if they are reading to go and write to WASI or, uh, you know, ISGCE I or which one they are reading to write, but they are very poised for this conversation. I should introduce them to you before I delve into the newspapers. And so uh, to my immediate left is Honorable Timothy Atabwade Awantirim, who represents the NDC. Good morning, Honorable. Good morning, Rosie. How are you? I'm doing well. Great. It's How good to you see too? you once good again. Good to see you too. It's Great. been some time. Yes. And then good morning to see my brother too. Yes, 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 yes. And then we say hello to our cherished viewers across <laughs> the country and across the group. We thank God for his mercy this morning. Right. And uh, we also have Benjamin Joe up here, who is representing the NPP this morning. Hi, Benji. Ah, the beautiful Rosalind. <laughs> thank I'm you. I'm doing well. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. A very good morning to you and your cherished viewers. Um, I'm excited to come here anytime. This is home. So a very good morning to Honorable as well. Mm. Um, I understand that... Um, as early as this morning is, you know, a lot of people are watching Joy Prime. This is a, a station that a lot of people listen to. So I want to say a very good morning to um, Madam Oboshi Saikofi and, you know, the incoming MP for Trouble, Madam Gloria Owusu as well. Mm, yes, fantastic. Definitely. And thank you for being here. Yes. But your foot soldiers, the way they are attacking the media personalities, it's not nice. In, uh, I think, um, you know, during the build-up to elections like this, you know, the role of the media is very essential. I mean, to, to bring out truth and all that. And you know, sometimes truth hurts, Rosalind. Sometimes, you know. And um, most of these uh, foot soldiers sometimes do not understand the, the, the politics that we do, you know. And some are even thinking that some of the, the media personalities or the journalists that... Uh, uh, are doing their jobs uh, on the other side, you know, affiliated to some of the parties. But I feel um, the role of the media is key in building a very resilient democracy. And so how we would uh, advise them that they should take it easy on you and, uh, and a whole lot of people. I have, I have in my own way monitored where you personally I mean, have been, you know, attacked. attacked and all that. But we understand you. We know you are neutral. Sometimes the questions to them are very tough. They wouldn't understand why you should ask this question at this crucial moment in a build-up to an election. But you see, there are, there are discerning minds that are also asking questions, same questions that you would ask us mm -hmm. in their home. Mm -hmm. But there may be full soldiers who didn't understand why you are asking those questions at this time. And um, even if you look at the, the weekend where Dr. Mahmoud Baumia met the mm -hmm. press, a lot of tough questions were asked. And they started attacking the media I mean, personality. It's, it's sometimes it does happen. But we, are, uh, we would say Dr. Mahmoud Baumia's response to all of these questions were brilliant. He was one truthful. It was these are very, very hard, tough questions. But when asked, he was truthful to the Ghanaians. At, at one point in time, I, when I was watching it, I'm like, hey, where are these questions coming from? But he stood his ground, very humble, very, very articulate. He was able to be very honest with the ordinary Ghanaian. And that is what we all need. So we would ask them, they should, they should tone down. They should <laughs> Thank tone you very down. much. For some of us that we are close to you yeah. people, we know you people are neutral. 
exactly. it should be toned down. So, uh, you just ask your questions. <laughs> that, just that okay. they don't want it to yeah, be asked, asked. You know, and all that. <laughs> anyway, uh, let me quickly read what the newspapers have for us, the headlines, and then we can delve into our conversation. But let me ask you, gentlemen, is it okay if we speak on education and trade this morning with regards to the manifesto of the NDC? Is that yeah, that's okay. 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 All right. Okay. So maybe we can start with education and then right. go into okay. trade. Is that fine? Okay. All right. So the newspapers, the Ghanaian Times newspaper is the newspaper I'm starting with. The Ghanaian Times. Government begins motor, Tema Motorway Reconstruction project to cost 350 million US dollars, expected to be completed in 36 months. Yana hails government for dedication towards improving road infrastructure in the northern region. Akosombo Dam spillage, 200 million Ghana cities released to resettlement project, and looming food crisis grains exports banned due to prolonged dry spell in eight regions. So uh, yesterday we heard from the the ministry that grains and uh, grains have been banned. So rice, corn, and maize, corn, corn uh, slash maize. You know, oh, yes, that's why I said slash corn slash either corn or maize, however you decide to call it. So it's actually all these have been banned from being exported. Let's do the daily graphic newspaper. Let's do the daily graphic newspaper, which is the next newspaper. President inaugurates Tema Motorway School Junction Road Project. Effects of galamse risk of cleft lip rises. Oh, this is, this is really bad, eh? Um, if you don't know about cleft lip, it's that lip that is like half or is lifted up. So the babies are born with their lips like slashed in a way or it's half and it looks like it's been increased because of the effects of Galamse. Drought, uh, government outlines 8 billion Ghana cities agri support, provides 1,000 Ghana cities per hectare incentive to farmers. Multi-billion city roads initiative launched in Tamale. The Economy Times is the next newspaper, The Economy Times. CD likely to depreciate further, and as yesterday, the news that hit our desk is that City is now 16 cities to one dollar. Macroeconomic indicators to worsen in Ghana, Nigeria through 2024, audit firm says. So, so it looks like Ghana and Nigeria, we are twins. So our macroeconomic indicators are going to worsen. Coco Board uh, disclaims the minority statement that the board has lost financial credibility. That will be all for the Economy Times newspaper. The New Republic newspaper, New Republic, Cash for Ghost Scandal Rocks, GTDC. CEO blows 500,000 Ghana cities on girlfriend with a cooked deal. Hey, which newspaper is this one? I haven't seen this one before. I see. Um, 20,000 Ghana cities bribe allegation hits Balmier's campaign. Flag bearers team accused of fixing media and counter censor scrutiny. Twitter scorn erupts over Balmier's missteps. Political meddling sparks financial turmoil at Petroleum Commission. And NDC flag bearer warns of democracy erosion. The Daily Dispatch newspaper is the last newspaper. The Daily Dispatch newspaper. I'm a VIP with no authority. I will implement my own ideas if I become president, says Dr. Mahmoud Balmia. NDC names 48 spokesperson on its 2024 manifesto. Mahama only fulfilled 28% of his manifesto promises. We have done 80%. This is coming from Dr. Mahmoud Balmia. And Balmia's four friendly jabs at Mahama last Sunday. You find all these in the Daily Dispatch newspaper. And so uh, these are what the news headlines are reporting. However, we are fixated on the NDC's manifesto. Now, last Saturday, the flag bearer of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama, met with his party members. And of course, it was televised, broadcasted across the board. And so there were people at home who also watched it. And he did tell Ghanaians what he would do if voted into power. We take a look at the education sector and the trade sector. Now, I'll start with the education sector. There are some, some things that he said that there are so many people who are excited about it, especially the people who are disabled. He's saying that they will have 
free tertiary education. And so once you are disabled, a person who has been declared as disabled, you will have free tertiary education. He also spoke about students who are, you know, teachers who, when they are posted to these rural areas, or uh, should I use the word deplorable areas, they will have the opportunity to get a 20% advantage of their salary given to them. He spoke about, uh, you know, um, the classrooms in all, all schools in these deprived areas having desk as well. So let's take a look at this that he said. I'm going to have this discussion with my guests. First of all, we'll have a general overview, then we'll delve deep into that particular sector. So let me start with you, Honorable Timothy, I want him, um, your general overview of it. Yes. <coughs> Let me say good morning once again to our viewers. And I think we want to thank God for his mercies. We traveled down to Winneba. We came back safely. We never had any problem. And it's all through his mercies. And uh, we want to launch our manifesto on the 24th. And uh, it's now in the media, and we are all discussing. The basic thing about this manifesto is that the language is down to F, simple language. Everybody can download it or read it online. For every sector, you can look at it just like you zeroed on education and then, uh, what do you call it? Trade. On trade. But the general overview is simply that you see this uh, manifesto is not like mushrooms that grew overnight. It has been a long journey coming so far. We had to consult a lot of uh, uh, the populace in terms of labor organizations, TUC, that even described our 24-hour economy as a game changer. We met uh, farmers, we met chiefs, we met all manner of people that, that uh, our governance style or system concerns them. We met even students, students union, we met apprentices, we met even people working with the sanitation sector, those tricycle people who go. We met all of them across the country, across the length and breadth of this country, because we need a manifesto that will resonate well with the wishes and aspirations of the people. So uh, in, in such a circumstance, you don't need to get some group of people to sit down and bring out manifesto that cannot be tested, or when you come, implementation becomes a challenge. You must get a manifesto that would arrest the challenges that the people face in this country. And typical of us, you remember our manifesto, uh, uh, the Better Ghana Manifesto, we went through, we went to the grassroots, the grassroots and collected their views. Even when we're doing the investigations on why we lost the election, the Professor Kosibuchi report, we went through all the length and breadth of this country, just as we did to the 1992 Constitution, when we allowed people from all walks of life to come and then they put their, their heads together. I remember at the time, people, most people from the MPP stock boycotted the 1992 constitution because they said that they could not come to sit with dressmakers, carpenters, butchers, and so on. But I know that they will have a resilient, uh, what do you call it, uh, a, a, a constitution that has stood the test of time, notwithstanding the challenges that we need to uh, uh, review the constitution. Be that as it may, I would quickly zero on to our education policies for which our flag bearer before we even launch and for all of us. We've been saying some of these things, but you see, it is better when it is written and then you have a social contract with the people and then the people begin to read and even carry them mm. as something to monitor you and so on. So our educational policies will include uh, measures like want to commit establishing libraries in primary schools to promote uh, a reading culture, we shall address the critical issue of textbook distribution. It has become an issue mm -hmm. of which we, 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 we feel that if this issue is not addressed, how can our students at the various levels of their learning uh, activities be relevant? Which number is that one? That's number two. Number two, yes. We'll prioritize, uh, uh, we shall prioritize the completion of all abundance educational infrastructure uh, to reduce class, uh, the class size level, you know, mostly because of the, 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 the numbers as a result of the, uh, the, 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 the free education and so on. There's so much numbers that teachers have to attend to. We need to complete most of the infrastructure in the various secondary schools, even including schools under trees, to ensure that we have sizable number of uh, students who are not congested 
in a classroom to enable them to have an effective uh, teaching learning environment. We shall review and improve on the free HSS that we talked about mm -hmm. through a policy dialogue that we can ha we have to bring that in. That is supposed to happen within the first 120 yes. days here in And we need to do this with almost the whole country, stakeholders, including CSOs and so on, to ensure that we come out with time tested. We know that the free education policy has come to stay. It's a good point. But there are challenges that is fraught with it. We need to identify them. When we identify that, that challenge, we'll be able to have a whole uh, some kind of uh, education that will meet the needs and the requirements as specified in the 1992 Constitution. We shall guarantee the timely disbursement of captation grant. You know the basic schools have had captation grant in arrears. And these are the monies that the various managers of uh, the, what do you call it, the, 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 the various institutions at the basic level used to manage uh, the schools and so on. It has been in arrears and so on. So sometime in a subtle way, you'll find head teachers or managers asking parents to do something to buy this thing for the kids and so on because they cannot also complain because when you complain under this government, we've seen how head teachers and managers of school uh, education have been punished for complaining. Mm. But if we allow free flow, of the complaints would have arrested the challenges that confront our whole educational system and so on. We reintroduce the sanitary parts free for all girls for now. all girl child in the school. We know, and I don't need to go into the detail. We plan to decentralize the school feeding program, looking at the fact that the school feeding a school feeding problem uh, issue has become confrontational now between the suppliers the head teachers, the students who are being fed on it, and even the buffer stock and so on. We feel that when we decentralize it, it will be a way to minimize the challenges and so on. When, the, when the, uh, it is decentralized, the, the issues of payment becomes easier, they are audited and paid timely and so on. We shall also support or strengthen the PTAs. We shall develop incentives for are deprived teacher, uh, teachers who will be posted into the deprived areas, like yes. you said, and, and so on and so forth. We would also give comprehensive, uh, 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 to empower schools' heads with the resources they needed to do that. We shall collaborate with unions to develop housing and loan schemes for teachers, for which we think that we can build teacher accommodation in basic schools. It has been identified that, you see, you, if you put up a basic school, and there's no any teacher staying nearby. Sometimes it's difficult to monitor and, and ensure that effective learning takes place. But even the kids, when they know that there's a teacher staying there, when they get up, they are, they are rushing to come to school because they know they'll be, they'll be disciplined if they don't come. We will also ensure prompt recruitment and payment of salary and clearance of arrears. We will expand secondary education, uh, uh, secondary school, spaces improve, I think we're talking about the same, improve the implementation of the free HSS and the dreaded double uh, uh, track system will be, uh, what do you call it, abolished. We will, we've talked about this and we will also cancel the obnoxious licentia exams for teachers. We shall cancel the obnoxious licentia examination for teacher trainee graduates too. We shall scrap the quota system for admission into nursing and trading colleges. These among others, and you know of the latest where we even talked about the fact that we would give, uh, 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 the, 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 we'll pay every first year university public student the first year fees. This is in enable them to uh, be cushioned by parents, to enable them also settle down. It is often difficult, even when you just oppose this with public sector workers, when you are posted to a new place, sometimes to get accommodation, to get your money, if your transfers do not come, it is a difficult mm. issue. Let, and we feel let, that we we'll do that. Let me ask you a, a question here. Um, I think that, yes, you did, like you mentioned, you did meet people, they told you what they want and what they don't want in there. However, there are certain things that, you know, wherever you find yourself, to make yourself better, you ought to educate yourself. And uh, for us not um, how do I, lettering the system with people that are not qualified enough, there ought to be systems that will sieve this. Now, the Lanchester exams has been something that is sieving off teachers that might not be good from those who are good. Why do you want to cancel such a good thing? You see, I've been telling you I teach. I teach as a graduate. 
and as a graduate teacher before I came, we are not, we are incorporating it into their final exams. Um, those people who attended Cape Coast University those days, when you go there to do your degree, you do a course that is a diploma in education to enable you to come to teach as a qualified teacher. These, these are the professional teachers. So this licensure exam will be incorporated, just like it's incorporated in the medical professions. It is equally, I think, incorporated in the legal session. They don't come back to write it. We are only removing it and then adding it to their final exam. Such a way, they write it once. And when they come, they are in service training. But what's the difference between There's the, the writing different. the exam? There's a difference. OK. A difference. When you're a teacher, you would understand. I teach every day, and I understand what they go to, and especially the examination, the questions they give them through this licentia, mm -hmm. is not in consonance directly with the subjects they teach. You understand? It becomes extremely difficult for some of them. And as mothers, to sit and to rewrite this exam, to be told that they fail, and sometimes they do not even know the marking scheme and so on. Mm -hmm. It's a challenge, unless you are in their shoes. So what we are saying is that, in order to license them, we would include it in their final examination so that when you write and pass it once, then you can be going for in-service training and so, to ensure. So, so with regards to this, again, I like the fact that you're saying that you incorporated, but then when you come to uh, the world, like you're going to work in the banking sector, you still write an exams to get in there. So, so what's wrong with the, these teachers writing exams to qualify to teach our If you go into the leaders? banking sector and you write exam. That is for you to be employed. Yes. You don't write it when you are then a banker. You can do your own upgrade. Go to probably maybe... But the health sector, do, the necessary... The health, they, they write sector. once. Yes. My, I told you my auntie has been a, a nurse for 30 years. I told you about mm -hmm. it. My sisters are nurses. They write once. I have younger brothers who are medical doctors. We all know that. You can call medical doctors and I can call nurses. They do not write them. As when they are teaching, we say that it shall be incorporated in the final exam to ensure that you write, look so at all professions. If it's being incorporated, help us break it down for us. Is it that it will be the same questions as what is in the licensure exams that they will write, or they'll write the final exams, and then their final paper is licensure exams? No, no, How no, is no, it going to no, no. be? Normally, what happens is that it is past, part of the curriculum. You know that your final exam, if you are writing eight letter, if you are writing eight subjects, it will be part of it. So probably your ninth subject will be licensure, or uh, uh, what do you call Yes to qualify you to now be a professional teacher. Like I compared to those days when you used to, when the, those who wanted to be professional teachers went to Cape Coast University, did their three years, and still wrote a, a, an exam to, be, to, to have a diploma in teaching. That qualifies you as a professional teacher. You could go to Cape Coast, but if you do not write that you are not a professional teacher. So in Cape Coast, you have people like those who are doing a BCom. They don't write last, uh, what do you call it, diploma teaching uh, certificate and so on. So that is a different, in fact, it's the same thing, you understand. So uh, those who want to be professional teachers would strictly write that. In Cape Coast, not all who attend Cape Coast will write that. Not all who attend teacher training colleges, except those who want to professional. That has been the issue. And I think this licentia exam has not been there because the, tip, the diploma certificate that we used to write those that become mm. professional okay. teachers were there. Let, let, and also to yeah. let me add it for you conclude. You know when the teachers, before they even come out, they go for um, what they call a field uh, uh, training and so on. They are trained. Uh, when, you, when you go to the university, you are trained on almost all your, 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 your subjects that you want to teach. So the licentia exam should be incorporated into the final exam to relieve the burden of coming back to ask teachers to go and reset, especially where they do not even know the syllabus and the marking scheme. You go there, the issue is thrown to you. Sometimes you are unable to pass and you, they feel that you're a bad teacher and so on. So let us make teaching professional. Let us do as it is done elsewhere. I don't see any place across the world that when you are employed and then you are working as a teacher, you, are, you write an essential answer before you become the teacher. And that is it. And then you go for in-service training or you upgrade yourself as time passes by. Then you, be, then you continue to okay. be a good teacher. All right. Um, ben, yeah, how are you I'm, once again? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm okay, well. so uh, we are narrowing down on uh, the education. You want uh, to give a brief general overview, see, probably Rosalind, like a minute, and then Rosalind, come to this. Yes, please. Like I said, uh, a very good morning to your cherished viewers as well. 
I am only sad that um, Honorable um, Timothy. Timothy is making all of this, you know, or saying some of these things to, to Ghanaians. Look, before we came into power, ask yourself, were teacher trainee writing these licensure exams? No. But then we thought and found out that there was the basic need for these teachers as a professional course to be vetted and see the ones that are going to be good for our kids in our various schools. Have you not seen viral videos of teacher trainee writing the Alliance Essential exams and that basic words like bot are not being spelled correctly? Basic words like cut by a teacher trainee who is going to who is going to one day become a teacher and impact knowledge to the younger ones. They cannot spell basic Some words. Of Some of them. But how did we come about all of these things? Because of the licensure exams. So you are able to save those that are not able to to uh, for for for. For better expression, those that are low-minded from the ones that are high-minded to proceed. Is teacher is is teaching a professional course or not? So, as as is being done elsewhere in the UK, before you can get you you, you have to teach, you have to get your license. And that's exactly what we brought here. Mm. But if they are saying they are going to open the floodgate to push everybody in it. What are they going to teach our children? When we have seen viral videos of these teacher trainees who cannot even spell some of their names. But the teachers that taught us didn't go through licensure exams. Did okay, you? but it's very important. The world is fast growing and upgrading every day. So imagine some of the scripts that we saw uh, 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 via Facebook and TikTok where teacher trainees are not able to spell words and then they, go, they, they are going to the classroom mm. to impact knowledge. I mean, that is dangerous for us. Could it be that, you know, there, there are some uh, subjects, a, a teacher who is going to teach tree or going to teach Ghana has to write... But the official language that we all communicate in Ghana is, is English. We haven't moved from, from English to tree. Even that one, you'll find some people not able to write the tree properly or spell them correctly. But English is a medium, it's the official language and is, 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 the, is the main language that we use in impacting children in our schools, mm. right or wrong. Look, this same NDC people are saying that they are going to reset Ghana. When you reset, uh, I think you are going to cancel a lot of things. Sometimes resetting your, phones, your phone means you need to delete certain apps. If we give them the chance to come here or if they are being voted into power, they will cancel a lot of things. They cannot, they will cancel free SHS. No, they said they will not cancel look, free SHS. Look, I'm telling you. Why are you still look, insisting Rosalind, free SHS Rosalind, do they know how we are doing or managing the whole system for free SHS? Why can't they know? They can't do it. They do not even know how we are doing it. How? How do you do this? Look, when we were bringing free SHS, what were they saying? Mm. One of their members of parliament took us to court. That is not feasible. You, you first, you first, you know, did not believe in it. So how then, when you have seen that the good people of Ghana are now, you know, everybody is applauding us for such a policy. Now you say you are going to, you know, uh, upgrade it or whatever it is. Look, in your same manifesto. Can, can I ask you something? Yeah, go ahead. It's meant not a continuum where we, we've seen governments change. We've seen the Rollins government come into power. We've seen the Kofo government come into power, continue whatever Rollins government started. We've seen the Atta Mills era come in, continue wherever, you know, uh, President Kofo left off. We've seen Mahama come in. The end, now we've seen a Kufuado government also continuing from Mahama's don't, name. Don't, why mention, are we saying, don't mention President what, Mahama's what, name. What, no, why shouldn't I mention he, He's somebody no, that we've all seen if, his if, hand if, works. If, if I can mention Dr. Mahmoud Baumia's name, 
name. I should be able to mention. But Ma Dr. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia hasn't been president before. No, but he is in power. No, yeah, exactly, but, but he, not, he doesn't. We still call him his excellency. Well, it's not a problem. We don't the call Ghanaian, him the good people of Ghana, Rosalind. His excellency. The good people of Ghana. The good people of Ghana voted for President Akufuado. Baumio is only auxiliary. He's he, there to help. He was on the campaign trail. Exactly. That's no oh. problem. We were on the campaign trail. No. But, but they did I not mean, vote I, for I, me. I never heard you speaking. No. So, yeah, maybe you didn't see. But the most important thing is the executive powers belongs to the president as enshrined in the constitution. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is only auxiliary. He's there, he's there to help the president execute his vision. Look, as I'm saying, doc, you cannot trust President Mahama. He's somebody that we've seen his works. If you look, if you, this is, they are working for you for a better Ghana manifesto. This is 2012 to 2016. And if you go to page, um, this is page 11 mm. of it, under education, this is what they said. We are going to eliminate the remaining 60% of identified identify schools under trees and provide decent facilities for all rural schools, were they able to do it? At that 60%, when they came to power, were they able to eliminate schools under trees? Secondly, they say that ensure 100% asset for children of all schooling age in compliance with the whatever. Okay, next one is even more important. He says, work towards the attainment of universal access to secondary education by constructing 200 new community day senior high schools where these do not exist. Rosalind, now, Rosalind, this is what they said in 2012 mm. when they wanted power. The schools under Good. Okay. Under the resetting Ghana, okay, if you go to page 15, and this is what they say, uh, the introduction is, the Ghana will let for the MPP. Mm -hmm. Page 15. I'm coming. I have it here. Yes, okay. if you do, can you join me on uh, page 15? Go to um, um, paragraph four, and then uh, uh, the subsection is J. It page, says page fifteen. You page say. fifteen okay. on your manifesto. Okay. It says in the twenty twelve manifesto, they said they were going to build how many? Two hundred, right? Mm -hmm. Now they say the single largest contribution to secondary school stock by constructing one hundred and twenty four community days Wait, near high school. So, so paragraph four. Yes, page 15. J. Fifteen. J. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The single largest contribution is that the one? Yes. Okay. Please continue for me. You you read it for me. The single largest contribution to the secondary school stock by constructing 124 community day senior high schools, uh, 46 of which were operationalized and 27 other completed physical structures. They built. They, they promised 200, mm. and in in telling or updating Ghanaians, they said they were going to do 124. Even that one, they couldn't do it. And then they only built 46. Out of the 46, it was only 27 that was being completed or operationalized. So look, these people, you cannot trust them. We cannot simply trust them when it comes to education. Look, with all the challenges that Ghanaians are facing, 2.7 million of our future generations are educated for free under this government. Education is the hallmark for every developed country. But we do agree that there are some Look, challenges, right? Yes, exactly, we do. We do understand, yes. But you see, the most important thing that we all need to understand is that some parents could not afford even the registration fee for their wars to write WASI. When we came, we have absorbed all of that. Mm. So they should tell us how they are going to do this. Look, Rosalind, we are moving from the days of backpacks to tablets and laptops. They should tell us how they are going to continue that target. That children, mm -hmm. when you go to South Korea, mm -hmm. no child car carries a backpack. Mm -hmm. They have all their curriculum on a tablet. And then when, it's, when school is closed, they, they, they send it back home and then they learn from it. Can they do that? And, and they never touched on any of these things. Some of the social interventions that we did, when we, 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 we've done when we, are, when we came into office, 
What's the teacher training allowance? Mm. But, are they going to do? Are they going talk, to pay? Talk, talking about the tablet, um, you know, for the viewers who are watching, this is not coming from me. Right. This is coming from the viewers who are watching. Right. The concern is that, you know, sometimes when we speak, we speak as though Ghana is a craft. Right. And internet data that we get access to in Accra, right. those in the rural areas also get it. Right. They do not have access to this. Now, even these children don't even have, some of them don't even have shoes they wear, right. don't even have school uniforms they wear, right. don't even have desks they sit on, don't even have classrooms. Now, you talk about tablets. When will we get there? Where all children in Ghana will have access to tablets? We have because, already. Because even with internet data, even Accra, there are places that they don't have access to. Look. Rosalind, we've already started the distribution. When, when we came into power, we, st we had a contract with some of these telecoms constructing free Wi-Fi for our secondary schools. And it's, and, it's, and it's working. Starlink is coming. It's joining the fleet of telecommunications who are going to provide us with internet. Under the rural telephony program, we only had 46 so, um, Under the R regime. Muftal, I don't know where Muftal, Muftal, uh, he's a colleague here. Right. He does sports. Where he hails from, right. there were no chairs. You know, the, the children didn't have desk at all. Right. He had to raise funds to buy desk for the children because they, they were even sitting under trees. Right. Now, these areas, network issues is another thing. Internet, internet going there is another thing. That's what I'm saying. And we are talking about... Uh, I really want us to speak the layman English. Right. We can actually say that, okay, we will start from here by making sure that these areas, they have access to light. Right. Because some of them don't even have access to light. So, oh, we make sure that we cover the whole of Ghana with the light. Then we make sure that we cover the whole of Ghana, the students, with classroom chairs or classroom blocks. We cover them with this. We cover them. The way. Then we go into the wants. We start, we tackle with the needs before we go into the wants. Because as a parent who is out there watching us and the child is under a tree and you promise that person laptop, that is not what the person is doing. Well, for. you see, we have, since we came into power, have eradicated almost 70%. We are not saying we are done with it. Almost 70% of schools under trees. And that is why we need to commend Dr. Educhu with some of these things that he's doing in the rural areas. We are not saying we've completely, er like, I mean, eradicated the schools under trees, but 70%. That is a, that's, that's a, a staggering amount. So we are saying that it is very important that looking at where the globe is heading, we must equip our children with the right component of education. And I'm saying these same kids that are all growing up in the world, if you go to South Korea, Japan, and the others, they have a system where everything is on their tablet, and they learn from these things. We are shifting away from the backpack days, and that is what we need to understand. He also mentions, that they were going to give incentives to teachers and all that. But they never touched on the teacher training allowances that they canceled. Are they going to bring it back? Are they going to, are they going to continue? Are the MPP yes, we are doing it. Yes. We are doing it. I'm saying, yes. are they going to continue from where we have left? They never touched on that. These allowances are key components that are really helping the teacher trainees. So, Rosalind, these are some of the things that we would want to hear from them, that they will take, they'll continue from where the MPP had left. And that will give hope to the ordinary Ghanaian. Okay. Look, I am not done, please. Mm. With, I can give you only two minutes. Yes, yes. That with all of these things, though. with all of these things being said, Rosalind, mm -hmm. it's very important that we understand that the NDC wants to come to power. But... Ask them one question. And the most fundamental question that we want to ask them is, upon all the successes that we've chopped in education, we've given free TVET, now there is STEM, ask them, are they able to continue with the progress that we've chopped in the areas of education? If they can, they should tell us, Mr. Tim uh, Honorable Timothy is here. But all of these things being done, you can clearly tell that these NDC people cannot be trusted. 
when the whole, when, when their, their flag bearer is telling us, and Saturday I was so ashamed, wow. telling us, telling us the good people of Ghana that we are going to have 24 hour night clubs. In this world, if, even if you go to Las Vegas, shops or well, these nightclubs only open at night. Even in, in, uh, in December, when the influx of foreigners are in Ghana, have you ever heard that people are, I mean, what, what is all this? Clearly, you can see that President Mahama wants to come for his last four years, chill, and go on retirement. How can you promise the good people of this country that you are going to give them 24-hour night club? In his own words, discotheques. It's a shame. Okay. It's, 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 it's very shameful. It's very appalling. Mm. They moved from Nkukobu and Ketinkete to 24-hour night club. Look, the good people of Ghana have gone through hard times during this COVID period. So they want policies that are going to help them, you know, go to their next level. Okay, so for me, when certain words are used like shameful and stuff like that, I hope that when it's... Is it not shameful? Wait, I'm just saying... That 24-hour club, I, I, I'm saying, night club, I'm is saying, it not shameful? Benji, I'm saying that when it's used on the NPP, NPP should not get asked. No, but we wouldn't even say that. Okay, no, ju I'm just saying... Is it feasible for you? I'm just saying that the NPP should not be upset have when you the ever, same words Robin, are used on them. Have you ever, see, have you, have you ever gone to a nice club? For me, the word shame is not an insult. And so I expect that. That's why I didn't ask you to retract. But I expect that right. the same way that right. the NDC will take on, will say, accept your words, please, if they use it back on you, Rosalind, accept it. I understand. Go. Thank you. Rosalind. <laughs> Look, has any anybody seen a 24-hour nightclub before? I, I, that shows the seriousness of the leader. I'm saying that whatever word you used, just but make sure that when it's given back. Yes, Rosalie, it's shameful, That's, it's appalling okay. that All a right, president let's, let's who wants somebody who wants let's to come see. back is telling us that he's going to bring a 24-hour nightclub. How can you say that? Rosalind. 24-hour oh, night club. That means we are going to party all night. Too. Nobody is going to work right, in this country. All right, I want to see if I have some message. Nobody is going to work uh, in this country. This segment is proudly wow. brought to you yeah. by... This segment is proudly brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Still phone, Papa Pay. If you want gadgets, are you looking for? It's a mobile phone, television set. CCTV cameras, it's, and many it's more. It's my manifesto. No, so you see, the reason why sometimes I come in uh, to say these things is because when we permit others to say it, we are, as media persons, attacked. I was attacked because... Somebody actually sat on TV, said something, and I asked the person to retract. And I was told I, wasn't, I didn't even ask the person to retract. And so if it's a fair statement, I will let you know that if the person goes ahead and it uses it against you, nobody should come and attack us. Anyway, so uh, this segment is proudly brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Still, Ford Papa Pefia. We'll take some messages and I'll come back to you, Honorable Timothy. I want to. And uh, make sure that you go to Franco Trading Enterprise to get all your gadgets. Not just that, I want you also to play the game. Quick cash, we're giving our money. Star 281 Hush, Star 281 Hush. Select number seven, which is Joy Prime. And when you select it, you play, 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 play. The more you play, the more your chances of winning. Yesterday, there was a lucky winner. Who could that be? Well, it could be you, but it all depends on you if you decide to play or not. Let's see our messages for today. What do we have? Who do we have? Who's sending us messages this morning? Okay, so um, let's see. I'll start from here. This one says, good morning, beautiful Rosalind. The manifesto of the NDC talks to the heart of Ghanaians. This is what we need now. We trust John Mahama to deliver. John and Jane for 2024, EA Metal Nunu Jr. Uh, good morning, Rosalind. I think it's time the NPP and Dr. Baumia be thankful to the visionary uh, leader, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, for setting up the Ghana Infrastructure Investment Fund, which has helped them for their so-called Agenda 111, free SHS, Tema Motorway Extension Projects, and so on. Ghanaians, let's wise up and vote for the visionary leader, President JDM, to reset Ghana, Jerry Blay and Chi. Good morning to everyone. A vote for Baumia is a vote for Ekufado's third term that will... Uh, car Char characterized, okay, by more stealing and severe hardship. Ghanaians will vote based on wicked corruption and an Anado and Baumia. Ghanaians will vote for an experienced man. Ghanaians are not interested, mate, driver. Good luck, Mr. John Mahama. Ignore Baumia. Abochi Philip from Qatar. Mm. 
sometimes you are going on and the thing will just start scrolling on your behalf. <laughs> And then about Nana and Baumia government, Ghanaians are politically disappointed, financially depleted, humanly humiliated, economically unproductive, industrially uh, disenfranchised, and are officially tired of this administration. Enough of the state's capture, looting, and sharing. The NDC manifesto is one that resonated well with the people and would restore hope to the Ghanaian youth. The manifesto is not one that is hinged on empty sloganeering and needless propaganda. My warmest felicitation to the wise and respected politician, Honorable Timothy Awantim Atabuade, Daniel Akpaliok from Sunday. Mother, that's your nephew, right? Mm. Good morning, Roslyn. It's now evidence clear that Ghanaians, after listening to Dr. Baumia, meet the press, are convinced he's the right man for the job. Strangely, the NDC manifesto, which is empty, has gotten lost in the media space after Baumia meets the press. Is it not surprising? Uh, so, uh, it's not surprised, though, because uh, everything in that NDC manifesto has either been done by government or Baumia has already promised to do in his administration. Baumia MPP manifesto offers both solutions going forward. There's a clear difference between certificates and the license. The NDC just don't get it. Good morning, Madam Hills. In my opinion, the NDC should have pick a new candidate for 2020 elections to sell that person than bringing John Mahama back. The reason is, if Mahama JM weighs this election and fail in his promises, it will take the NDC 16 years to win power. JM should not forget that the country is in a mess and four years can never bring this economy back. It was a mistake to bring JM back. How can you bring rejected cassava back to the back, uh, to the market? Nana Wusu from Gosu. Okay, Nana Wusu. Um, uh, Mensa Majid uh, from Bechem says, My regards to Honorable Charles Akwesi, a CAD incoming MP for Tano South Constituency, an energetic F FOCA members who are working tirelessly uh, to rescue the constituency from the muted MP. The NDC manifesto was a manifesto of hope, jobs, and happiness. Wow, I'm speechless. This is a manifesto we want. JDM highlighted the mess the MPP government has created, and it's so sad to be a Ghanaian at this moment. A vote for NPP is the third term for President Nanado. We need to reset this country. <clears throat> we are sick and tired of Baumia's horrible movies and fake promises. The country is in... <clears throat> Please pardon me. The country is in deep ditch, and the only person to rescue us is JDM. Let's vote massively for JDM on December 7th. Moro from Adringano says that, Good morning, madam. The teacher's license exams must be scrapped. Okay, I tell you, I have first class from UCC, and I struggle to spell the word who in exams. <coughs> Sorry. Who in exams these happens? What is the MPP man saying? Why should I complete a teaching? course, then sit in the house for a year, then go and write licensure exams. It doesn't make sense, Madame Moro from Adringan. All right. Alhaji Hamza Pick Farm. Good morning, Rosalind. I'm particularly happy to hear sanitary parts is going to be provided for the girl child education. This is very important for our girls in schools. My infrastructure is going to build to be built to cancel uh, this issue of double track. Ask Students go to school for two months and come home to stay for three months. Who does that? I'm also happy to hear that our university is going to be free for our sisters and brothers who are disabled. President Mahama has also promised to bring all stakeholders in education for us to dialogue and to see how to review the free SHS education and to make it better for our children. Don't forget time, timelines have been attached to all these promises for the sake of accountability. President Mahama wants Ghanaians to hold him accountable for the promises he is making to the good people of this country. And I have no doubt he is going to deliver because he has been tried and tested. And let us not forget the fact that the 2024 elections is going to be based on credibility, trustworthy, and honesty. And I'm afraid Dr. Baumia lacks all these credentials. Ghana at this moment don't need try and see precedent. Inshallah, we shall rescue this country. Wallahi. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. This one says, good morning, Preeti. I'm a professional nurse and we write only one exam at the end of our two yeah. or three years in school. And that's your final exams. Maybe unless you fail to pass and you rewrite. So teacher licensure exams is disturbed and improperly organized. All right. Honorable Akisme from Secretary Bekai says, in regards to CEO of A&A &A Drinking Water, okay, I wholeheartedly endorse the NDC manifesto which prioritizes education and trade to drive Ghana's progress. Investing in education empowers our youth with skills for a brighter future while promoting trade stimulates 
economic growth and opportunities. The NDC Manifesto offers a visionary roadmap for our nation's development and I believe is the best choice for a prosperous and equipped in Ghana. Let's unite behind this compelling vision and build a better future for ourselves and generations to come. Good morning. What is it that uh, oh, MPP man, his name is Benji. Uh, Benjamin uh, is talking about a teacher can't spell his name. What an insult to the teaching profession. Does he know that it takes uh, to be, what it takes to become a teacher? So because of politics, he's there denigrating teachers. Please tell him to apologize to teachers. Okay, so he never actually said can't spell his name, but certain words. And of course, we all saw certain videos that were circulating on social media where words were misspelled by teachers who were writing these licensed excerpts. Good morning, Joy Prime. I'm very sad and disappointed in the submission of, um, you're talking about Benji. If he doesn't have, okay, let me go to the next one. I try as much as possible to please and please again, let's try and see what we say. Very, very, very important. Good morning, Ro lovely Rosalind. Tell about Mia, the NPP and the Kufado to sign the LGBTQ bill, okay? Uh, Ghanaians are very much interested in sanitizing the sanctity of our lovely country from cares and the anger of God or Allah. I'm happy Baumia has realized the kind of hell and suffering Ghanaians are going through. Ruslan, tell Baumia to press hard on his master to sign the bill and Ghana will be free from this punishment of hunger, bad educational system, corruption and a Japadia formula. Honorable Seba Hassan. Let me see. Hey! <laughs> okay. All right, so let me let me pick from somewhere here because hey, this one the hey. <laughs> Good morning, Rosalind. The submission honorable is making in relation to Ghana teacher licensure exams is scandalous. It's honorable saying that the licensure exams is going to uh, taught to taught in our colleges before assessment. Is he aware that the licensure exams is written during and after national service when the teacher trainees have tested the teacher field to understand and appreciate the nitty gritty of the field? Indeed, the alternative is empty. Good morning, Roslyn. Uh, please, I'm a teacher and I teach in a school where everything is like upside down. No electricity, no desk for the students. The school building is made from mud, which we, the teacher and the community, put together for the students. And I can tell you, I use part of my salary to sew uniform for the students because I'm a tailor myself. The school is in Yendi Municipal, M.A. Haruna from Yendi. Wow, I have goosebumps. And this is what I was talking about. You see, Benji, people are in these areas. The last thing they are thinking about is laptop. So if you don't give them what they need, a laptop doesn't, doesn't concern them. Uh, good morning, Rosalind. The MPP man said that the free Wi-Fi in the SHS schools are working. Just send your cameras there. It's only worked for some time and stop. Send your cameras to confirm. Our classrooms are not even condu conductive or conducive, okay, conducive for the new curriculum, which is going to be rolled out. JDM for president. Greetings, Prince Ado Tebri. Good morning, madam. Uh, please... It will be a disgrace to elect Dr. Baumia to rule our dear country. This is the most wicked government. Okay, let me come here. Hey, my name is Rosalind, not Jocelyn. Okay, this person, because you use St. Teresa as your, uh, you, I have to read yours. Good morning, Rosalind. The MPP man should stop uh, bo boring our ears with Korean examples. Ghanaians are fed up with them and waiting for John Mahama to come and save them from the excruciating economic hardship. Nanaka Karite Chiman. Okay, All right, I'll come back. I'll come back. <laughs> the messages are so many. I'll come back. I, I mean, it, it tells us that when it comes to things like education, people are very passionate about them because I have so many messages that are coming in. This segment is probably brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Still, phone, papa, pay, fee. And Honorable, you wanted to say something? Yes. The basic question you ask him is that if teachers can spell common, simple words, how can licentia exams resolve that matter? Ask him. It seems that that if doesn't... teachers can spell common words, how can a licentia exam resolve the matter of the teacher's inability to, 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 to spell a word? Did it happen at the time he was, doing, uh, he was writing the licentia exam? Isn't that the reason why they write the licentia exam? My sister, not. That's what I'm telling you that, according to his submission this morning, and they should stop this condescending attitude towards the people of this country. People have gone to training colleges, people have proceeded to do educational programs. If they come in and during exams, I didn't see that video, but I cannot vouch for its authenticity. Whether it is true or not, I, I, I don't saw know. the video though. Fine, but how can Lancentia exam resolve me, team, if I cannot spell who, they, cut? 
tell me if I go and write and I cannot spell. How can the, that one hour or two exam correct me, make me able to? Don't you see that there's something wrong? Is that how the Lancentia exam is supposed to do? Two, he talked about when we resetten, it means cancel. If come again, if resetting means cancel, then it is good because we are going to cancel the family and friends, uh, what do you call it, government. We are going to cancel the corruption. Free as we are. You are going to cancel the free exchange. I beg you. I sat here. Thank you. Please. Honorable, please, please. You are going to cancel the teacher training allowance. Let's respect ourselves, please. Benji, Benji, please. You go on, you go on. Honorable Timothy, go on. Wait, Honorable, before you speak. Benji, please, as sure. much as possible, no problem, let's no have some decorum sure. here. So when you're speaking, he will not speak. When he's speaking, you don't speak. Everybody has their time. If Thank resetting you. means we are going to cancel the state capture, the looting of the garden balance, huh? the ambulance cases where the president's daughter is taking so much millions of dollars with her boyfriend from Nigeria. Can you the correct SML. him? Please. Can you oh, correct please. him on this? Please. Can you correct please. him on this? Benji. Because I will not sit here Benji. for honorable right. to make some of these things. These Benji. things are not Benji. true. Benji, you have any evidence. You have any evidence. We have them. Gentlemen. It's not true. Gentlemen. Don't, don't yes. make such a session. Gentlemen. Please, please. Rosalind, don't Gentlemen, put please. me in. Don't lump us together. Gentlemen, please. Rosalind, we need me with you. Honorable. We need, we need here. death from here. He said this Honor was not comfortable. Honorable, I please. Kept factual. Honorable. I said factual. So this thing. is not factual. It's not factual. So allow me, when I finish, you respond. When did the president's daughter can, and his boyfriend, can I, whatever. Can I, can I land? Yes, please. Can I come in? Gentlemen, please, if it's possible, let's try and stick to the topic for the day. Yes, so, honorable, that is the, we are on education. Because this one, once not proven guilty, is an allegation. That is, what I'm saying is this. So if it's not what I'm saying proven is this. guilty, if reset, let's see it listen as an allegation. To me, that we are, what are we resetting? Our reset means cancel what? Free HSA, is that not what he said? And I'm responding to his reset. His definition for it, where did I go wrong? No, when you brought in the president's daughter, I'm saying that where that did one I is go an wrong? allegation. Okay. So, if the reset will mean that will cancel the SML and other conduit of you to siphon money. If the reset will mean that will bring discipline, we will do that. We will, the, people of this country have, the people of this country have suffered. And for me, I'm not going to waste time on that. The people can read our manifesto. The manifesto has been written in simple language. It resonates well with the people. We talked about the fact that we're going to give first year students. I showed, let me show this thing to you. Last two years, uh, a, a nephew of mine, you, just, just check the results. He could not enter first year school for medicine. Check the results and mention to He couldn't mention because the parents could not pay. I could not also pay. He needed to be there for the first year so that the following year he can get himself settled. So he wanted to write medicine. And yes. He got, um, he got social studies, he got A1. Um, English language B3, mathematics he got A1, integrated science A1, mathematics A1, biology A1, chemistry A1, physics A1. So he, he's not He couldn't school. go. So last year, what we did this year was to mobilize and send him to Cape Coast University. The time is coming to us. At least we'll be able to. He wanted to go to Tech or Legon. He couldn't go. He had admission, but he couldn't go. So it is a major intervention, and this intervention is in line with Article 25 of the 1992 Constitution, that stipulates clearly how tertiary education should gradually be made free, just like the, the, the secondary education and so on. We are, we are sticking to the, con the, the content of the 1992 Constitution for we the boycotted. We talked about the bed. We will partner with private developers to ensure that the vast lands in the very secondary school, we build accommodation for us, so especially the first years where they come and they are so much, they, uh, they, they, they go about looking for expensive cutthroat uh, accommodation. You don't feel that for our students? He talked about the fact that uh, we didn't state anything in about a lab, uh, what do you call it, uh, 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 the, the continuation. And that it, we talked about what? We shall establish free, free Wi-Fi for all second cycles. But that's already been done. Why are you oh, going to now establish me. it? It's already please. been done. Let, let, Benji, you are not please, helping the conversation. So you please, come I beg in. You. Your, your time will come in. Don't worry. I beg you. Okay, you just... You Today, just, as I talk to you this morning, my sister, go to any of the secondary school and check whether there's Wi-Fi uh, uh, operating. Go. 
I can pay for you to go to any, and I can direct you there, to go and check and see whether any wifey is operational this morning, just this morning alone. It's all deception. Mm. No one is saying that, look, we are not going to ensure that uh, tablets and whatnot go there. Look, we talked about making sure that rural areas, basic education, that the captation grant has been in arrears for years. Where are you, Benji? That you do not ensure that this is that. We are making sure that we build teachers' bungalows. We, are re we, we want to improve on the free HSS. Like you said earlier on, no one would cancel free HSS. You can, there are some policies where they can, they come. Mm. Either by law or not, the population will not allow you because they benefit that aspect of the social democracy. But, could, could, it be that, could it be that we often provide you know, services that are not needs for everyone? They, 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 they could be a want for some people. I'll, I'll take an example where this laptop issue came in, and I said that we look at people. And this man who sent him, I don't know if it's Even a lady Rosalind, or a man. look at me. I uh, teach oh no, oh no, my laptop let, hasn't Honorable, oh no, please, let me land, please. So people like, you know, people in these areas, the last thing they are thinking about is the laptop. And so you, if you take this Wi-Fi to areas where there are no networks, and the NDC is also promising us Wi-Fi in these schools. But we are not talking about the basic one. What is the basic one? How do we get networks into these areas? Could it be the reason why some schools, because in, in a school like Achimota, they are enjoying the Wi-Fi. If you look at a, a school like this Laboni... This go and check. If you look at a school like Laboni Secondary, they are enjoying the Wi-Fi. So you go out and then you realize that there are schools that are not enjoying the Wi-Fi because of network issues. Why are we not tackling that before we even look at taking these, uh, you know... I don't have any problem with that, and it's good. Whatever policy we bring to enhance teaching and learning, to allow our children study in an, a, a conducive atmosphere with the appropriate tools and learning materials, we are all for it. Look, let me tell Actually, you, when we came, when we came, mm. when, we, when we took the electricity uh, uh, coverage to the rural areas, uh, we increased it from about 50 to 80. 3%. The only came and increased only 3%. To 83%. If they had continued, probably the whole of this country would have gotten there, would have been hooked onto the national grid or otherwise. We took it from 56 to 83%. Are we, are we, so I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, no, no, if, I'm if, you can, if you can, if I'll you can. I'll let you continue, but are we to expect electricity in the whole of Ghana? Certainly, it is a right of the people to expect yes, that. Yes, so why are we not talking about that in our that, manifesto? Yes, but we talked about that. That's why I'm saying that even give us credit. Rosalind, we took electricity, electrification to the rural area. Sanma has light. Seniors has light. But Chongsa has a light. Fimbisi. Huh? Yaba Kubor has got lights. Kadima has got lights. These are rural areas. We, 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 we took the coverage to 83%. They only did 3%. If they had even done 10%, we would have, we would have gotten there. And look at the, 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 the challenges in even the electricity, the payment, and so on. But look, who would tell me that providing libraries for our students, as stated in our education policy, is not proper? Who would tell me that address the critical issue of textbooks, textbooks, it is not important. Who will tell the priority, the completion of abandoned infrastructure, Rosalind, across the country? Who will tell you that, look, to review and improve free HSS and TVET is not proper? Who will tell you that to guarantee the timely disbursement of captation grant for basic schools, my brother? That is not important. We know of the report, uh, uh, Education Watch. You saw their report, vivid. Who will tell you that? To, uh, uh, to integrate free HSS secretariat into education, to make it comprehensive is not. To reintroduce the sanitary part for our guests. You are aware, you've been doing the campaign. Sanitary part. My campaign has been more of to decentralize school fees. Masa, Masa, my, my sister, Masa tell you the challenges of the school fee no, that we've no, no, had. Um, for me, Masa no, when tell you, you talk that, about the, the, the campaign, my campaign, because I don't want to be enrolled into no, 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 politics no, no, no. I'm anything. just telling you about the my general... My campaign has been yes. on the cancellation of luxury tax on sanitary parks. Yes. Well, I'm just telling you, no, that is part of it in any way, but it's good to say that because this morning <laughs> we are talking about the yeah. way they attack you and my brother mm. and yeah. so on. So we shall empower just, school heads to resource... Uh, and, 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 and then give them a thought to manage the schools. We know these things. We shall collaborate. These things, we took them from the teacher unions. 
The teacher unions is condemning this money. They don't. They cannot pass. Exam. How sustainable is huh? this free part, though? And how are it you is... going to identify who gets the free part? Oh, you know, it has been done before. You remember it, it, it when was, they even told us that we were doing it for? Yes. It was. Yeah, we can piloted. identify them because even through this, uh, isn't the livelihood uh, program that they pay, you know, the rural areas, most of our, you can even get the data from GES or from Ghana Statistical Service. You can get them. And as we move on, we can keep improving. Even there are rural areas in Accra here that we need them, you might, you might not know. And so who would say that is no good? We will expand secondary education spaces. The space, you know, the congestion in our schools. When I send my child to the secondary school in Kumasi, he's in his final year now. Rosalind, I was made to pay for the bed. I've said this over and over. There's congestion. But what, why I pay was that the headmaster told me that, look, if we don't pay, would we want our, student, our children to lie on the floor? So I quickly paid. It is not his problem, but he cannot complain. Look, we shall pay 20% allowance to rural teachers. My brother, what is wrong with this? We, we shall cancel obnoxious licentious. You say, oh, we'll cancel everything. Give credit to where it is due. We oh. took this from the teachers themselves. We okay. made the teacher unions. All right. People All right. are Your time is I have my, I okay. have friends. Mm. I have family members here. Yes. You should go and ask them. It is not about, I am happy we are finished with our manifesto. I'm also happy with it. And I'm happy that today you, you said we should zero on education and trade. Mm. And I, when I was coming, I was even thinking so that we can begin to just oppose various sectors versus one on one and we see. Baumia has no credibility as we are going to this nation. You know. Okay. Look at the, his or, credibility or, 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 crisis. Honorable, let, now let look me at move. His your time process. is up. You want to tell your, me your, that. Look. Honorable, your time is up. Honorable. No, no, you want to no, tell me that. Up, and let me, let me, honorable, let me, let me, let me, let me learn on this. Honorable. He said we said we'll do 24 hours in discotheque. Abba, my brother. When Baumia said that uh, the bars are already operating 24 hours, did I hold Baumia's mouth to go and say that? Eh? The die hole bar me. Are you were here? The video is there. When I said that we cannot legislate 24 hours, uh, bars are already uh, uh, doing 24 hours, discos are already doing 24 hours. Was I the one who held bar me as and to say that? Let us be have some modicum of respect for the yeah, people no, of this country. Okay. Anyway, all right. You saw the video. Let, let, I, let, she's aware you are aware. Uh, doctor, doctor Baumia never said any of these things. Then you say chicken. It's, 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 what is some cooking? Honorable, honorable, he's on the floor. Honorable. Elevate, have elevate you, have the you not, have you not heard, please. Rosalind? Have you not heard President, former President Mahama saying that? When they win power, they are going to give in Kuko Bunki What is wrong with that? To their branch executives. Yes, branch it's good. Members. So is it not all fine? of this? Yeah. Have you not heard it? the poultry sector. Hold on, hold on. Please, can, can we, can we please go bring to, out policies that would alleviate or, or bring uh, uh, the, the living standards of Ghanaians ah. to a, a certain standard. Multidimensional poverty. Honorable. I did not interject to. You, uh, you are talk, the chief interjector here this he morning. Quiet. He talked about. He talked about. He talked about twenty percent allowance for teachers in rural areas. I mean, look at the staggering amount of teachers that we have in this country. That means they are still not committed in paying teacher training allowances. They are not ready. How? What? They are not ready. You're only saying 20% for rural that teachers. That can convince the teachers. You How? How is that possible? Please. I, I say what? Are you not, I are you? He's saying that only 20% of rural teachers ah, are going to... Those who have been posted what there. What, 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 what? So what, what, what there, my brother. was that uh -huh. teachers who are posted, posted into there. these deplorable it's not areas about teaching will allowance. get an extra 20% of their salary. Yes. That's what Look he at said. That's what is in the manifesto. Well, well that's, what I'm, I, that's what I've established here. Yeah. In your 20, 2012 manifesto, similar promises were made. And they couldn't fulfill it. They said they were going to establish 10 new colleges of education. On the same page 11 of their manifesto. How many have you established? Please, ask them. Were they able to deliver on that? How many? Please, it's not about how many, please. You told the good people of Ghana that you wanted power in 2012. And now you are going to build 10 new colleges of education. Were you able to do that when they voted for you? No. So they have a track record of deceiving Ghanaians. They say you break when, when, brand new schools. One, they couldn't build. One, no. 350 brand new schools. You could not build one. Benjamin, are you done? Your point. I'm done. So when, when these people talk, you need to listen to them carefully. On the other hand, we are saying that every teacher and nurses are very, very important to the society that we are building in Ghana. So therefore, we are going to incentivize them so that they can get a vehicle to go to their work and come back safely. Okay? 
it is very important that we also note that all of these things that are being said, today, when you go to America, when you go to Germany, you go to Japan, anywhere, STEM innovation is, is, the, is the talk of the day. Can they boldly tell us that they are going to continue from where we have done? If you go to Abomosu, we have STEM innovation schools there. If you go to um, East Legon, we have STEM innovation. If you go to Kumase, all of these places, these are key things that you need to, our kindergartens are being digitalized right from scratch. So that is the kind of future that we want to build for the ordinary Ghanaian. That's what we want. That is the direction that we want Ghanaians to Our kindergartens in Accra, in the urban areas. Yes, we've started that. We've piloted that. In the urban we pilot, areas. We, pilot, we piloted in Dome. And now if you go to Bodriasi, they've built another one there. And it's ongoing. We, the vision is to spread it across all over Ghana. Because that is the way to go. He's saying that people do not have Wi-Fi. Please. And that they were going to implement Wi-Fi. It is already being done. We've already started. Don't, Rosalind, you know aware but I did that make, most of these secondary schools I, are free Wi-Fi. I, I, I did wi mention as that. Yes. So, yes. So, so, so the thing is, it's not that they don't have the Wi-Fi. The issue is to do with whether it's working or not. And so I did mention that in schools like Achimota, in schools like Laboni Secondary School, their Wi-Fi might be working. So, but maybe you move to areas that the network issues. So you do not, Rosalind, you do not, so they will struggle. You that so, yes, Laboni. Honorable. Rosalind, you right do not put it in your manifesto as, uh, and make it as seem like, seem, uh, make it seem like you are the one that it's going to do. It's already been done. Okay. If there are challenges whatsoever, mm. you should say that upon the existing challenges, this is what the NDC is planning Why to do. Why did it take to You cannot bench. tell us that you are the bench. one that is going to... These that's, things are already in place. <laughs> Look, that's their manifesto, but it's not that this government is already doing it. That, that, is, the, that is the thin line that we must draw the line. This government has already initiated Wi-Fi in various secondary schools. Now they tell us that even in their uh, key policy manifesto, they are saying that they are going to... Um, um, we should establish a cancer and kidney disease trust fund and support affli aff uh, afflicted Ghanaians who uh, need assistance to treat such conditions. On health. Hold on, hold on. No, we, we it says to we shall improve taxes on essential medical supplies for the island. No, 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 no. We are, no, hold we are, on. No, no, no. Let's what? stick to our topic, please, Benji. Let's stick to our topic. Rosalind, what is, is this not in a... No. Is it not in your, no, in your key policy no, manifesto? it's education we have not. Yes, but I am saying... No, but you are talking about the It's, it's, it's very Health important. Tomorrow, we take we, the no, whole picture. Tomorrow we are the Are you against no, the Hold on. That is why I'm saying that. That is why I'm saying that. The message is as important as the messenger. These people, they promise a whole lot of things. In 2012, and you're waiting for a better Ghana agenda. You don't review they your could policies. Not, they could not do it. Yes, How do we then the give them another mandate to come and do it. this? This is what they all know. They tell you something so that is even already in existence. That now that we are doing all of this, thing, you say that you are going to do the same. This thing, meanwhile, Rosalind. these things are already in existence. Let, let, Look, let Rosalind, if we have some messages. It's very important. Yeah. Okay? The I Dr. Can, I'll give three messages. Dr. Baumia is saying that under the jobs. Under the jobs. But abroad program. But interestingly, teachers, we'll be giving more time. Teachers will be given the opportunity yes. to travel elsewhere mm. to teach as well. You understand? It is very important. What I am trying to say is that the NDC is not capable of it to us. You don't determine that best. Exactly. Because I have that. demonstrated here where that in their own manifesto under education Manifestos in 2024. Documents. They said that they were going to establish so, I, 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 10 I, I, new colleges ben, of we, education. Even the 1992 constitution is wait, under review. Are we saying that Trump is coming is under review? that ah. the NPP <laughs> said in their manifesto you have done has it. been done. This, uh, education, is, uh, education is a key component. That is what we said we are doing. So, 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 so for you, when you, when the, you tackle <clears throat> whatever, what is it that we have said in areas of so, education so, have we not done? So for you, whatever you, you have you said in, in education, you've done it. Is that what yes, that's what I'm saying. If I not know. almost, if not almost, but these are key components that you, you promised the good people of Ghana. You promised to build them 200 new community day high schools. Okay. You only built 46. 27 are in operation. Ah, you understand? Don't even understand. So when you we said 46 oh, has been operationalized. You are not. You are not. But choose the right word. word. You are not. Right. You are not being so fair to me this morning. When you are talking, I didn't interject. I'm trying to, I, I'm trying okay. to get it. I, I wish I had no. time. One. I wanted to get the NPP manifesto in 2020 and their manifesto in 2016 on education. Exactly. Go look at that. And I'll see. 
but uh, no, but so, so because I have, I have the 2012, which I have the 2012 from the world. Let me try and see some. And clearly, whatever they said, yeah, clearly what they said, whatever they said, yeah, they put in messages. But 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 then um. Now you are coming back again to promise us. That no, this is what we are going to do. The first one that you promised the good right. of this country. So, yes, messages, want to say a very big thank you to Franco Trading Enterprise for right. always having our back. Franco Trading Enterprise has got your back. When it comes to guardians, mobile phones, television sets, CCTV cameras, all you have to do is to go to Franco Trading Enterprise. Franco Trading Enterprise, still the phone for prepared for you. Now, let's see what we have with regards to our messages. This compliment should not operationalize. Get this clear. Okay, so we have some messages here. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Okay. All right, so I'll start with this one. Good morning, Rosalind. Good morning to your panelists. Comparing the NPP and NDC on promise and fail issues, I think the NDC would be better choice. In 2016, the CD to the dollar was 1.4, and now it is 1.16. 16, it's not 15. 16. What did the NPP man say then? Talking about teachers and the laptops that teachers paid for till now, some have still not received theirs. How can Baumia say he has the teachers at heart? He desperately wants to be the first gentleman, but nothing to show for Kojokov town. Okay, Akon Sigariba, you've been sending us messages, so I'll read your message. Akon Sigariba from Tamale. Good morning, Rosalind. Ghanaian children are fortunate to be under the leadership of Alaji Dr. Mahmoud Baumia when it comes to having access to good education in Ghana. The NDC and Mr. Bahama promise teachers are the deprived areas of 20% allowances when Ghanaians gave Mahama power in 2012. He didn't implement it. Mr. Mahama and the NDC should stop annoying Ghanaian teachers. If Mr. Mahama was a good president, Ghanaians wouldn't have voted out Mahama and NDC out of power. Ghanaians don't have short memories as Mr. Mahama claimed. My greetings to Dr. Mohamed uh, Amin Adam is possible for Alaji Baumia. Okay, let me see. All right. Um, oh my God, what's happening? Rosalind, good morning and uh, good morning to you and your panelists. I advise Saka to be disciplined. Ghanaians, oh, please, Saka is not on my set. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sami Boachi as a man can say, Dr. Baumia and NPP are very focused and no amount of propaganda, insinuation, and name calling will undermine the integrity of the good people of Ghana to vote massively for NPP and Dr. Baumia to give more modeling, molding innovation. As for education, NPP stands tall in talk of teachers and nursing training, allowances, restoration, free SHS, no examination fees, massive infrastructure in the education system, and many more. The good people of Ghana are very discerning and they are retired, they have retired Mahama. It is possible, regards to Honorable Charles Echampo, MP for Simon Kese. Good morning, Roslyn. We can't trust President Mahama again. He has given the opportunity, but he misruled the country. We need a visionary leader. Good morning, uh, host. Election 2024 isn't a normal polls, but a liberation struggle against oppressors rule. Enemies of state looting and the looting brigade and the neo-colonial masters involved in capture and countless economic crisis crimes against the state. Indeed, NPP has become a nuisance, liability and threat to peace. Forest reserves, water bodies and our democracy. NPP is very desperate and hell-bent on rigging the aid at all costs. NPP never again. Power is citizen, not a spectator. Good morning, Rosalind, and good morning to your panelists and the viewers. The NDC as a political party is not serious, desperate for power and has nothing good to offer Ghana as the leader is trying by all means to come back with the 419 way of governing from Sule North. Okay, good morning, madam. Uh, please let the MPP man know that Felix Ufosu in AAK build a clinic at Mori and MC at AAK told the health... Dec hey, Mori, okay. Mm, I said Mori. Oh, Mori. <laughs> <laughs> At AK told the health directorate in the region not to operate its Kojo from Cape Coast. Really? Is this true? That's not good. I'll read one last one and I go. Good morning, Roslyn. Good morning, Ghana. I was Dr. Baumia sidelined as a vice. I am a teacher in the Upper East Region, one of the senior high schools, to be precise, and I am shouting. It is pathetic. The food the students feed onto infrastructure, students rent and pay bills. It's free. SHS really free. Nothing is working in Ghana anymore. You increase salary and take it back through huge and unnecessary taxing without considering the non-salary taking Ghanaian. Why can't we put the fear of God in us and Piti Ghanaians. We are suffering. We are suffering. Rahina to Buhari from Sunday. Ma, I like such messages. Rahina to who? I like, I like, I like messages that come from the ordinary Ghanaian. No political affiliation. 
they tell us what is really on the ground. Gentlemen, uh, there is actually, um, Wasi happened yesterday. So, um, to tell you a brief about it, uh, there's a report uh, on the examination that happened and uh, yesterday, I want you to take a look at the report and then I take your humble opinions on it. No, unfortunately, time will not permit us to do the trade. Oh. I know you want to talk about the made in Ghana, but we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look at the Owasi report. Yes. Don't I know, right? of this year's West African School Certificate Examination, Wasi. At the Osu Presbyterian Senior High School, over 15 candidates reported late and were nearly denied access. But there was no luck for some seven others at the Laboni Senior High School. They were prevented from entering the exam hall altogether because they had arrived one hour after the exam had started. Head of the center, Rejoice Aku Akolo, who is also headmistress of the Laboni Senior High School, explains the decision to deny the candidates access. If you stay out of an exam over an hour, what were you doing outside? We want them to be seated. We are all around. As a supervisor of the, the exam, I need to conduct the exam in a more conducive atmosphere. And I'm, I am not happy that the students came that late. We were all over everywhere looking for them, only for them to surface in group that late. And this is not the first time they have come late. Some of the students who spoke to Joy News blamed the traffic situation for their lateness. Well, I came late, actually, but like, I'm from a far place, I'm from Broadwa, and then there's traffic on the way. So it's not deliberate that I, I want to come in. I know I have a lot of coming, but there's traffic on the way. I can't do anything about it. The head of the National Office of WAIEC, Dr. Rosemond Wilson, agreed with the decision and said the conduct of the candidates amounts to a violation of the rules governing the examination. Normally, when they start at the time that they have to start at 8.30, most of the students keep on staying outside and waiting for, in quotes, apo and other things. So that was why the rules was revised. And we said they should come in and stay in 30 minutes before the start of each paper. So the rules have already been revised and considered. Meanwhile, Deputy Education Minister, Reverend Intim Forger says his office will look into the matter. The rules are very clear and therefore I would want to find out the exact incident that happened and obtain full details of it. There are rules to every examination and I'll appeal that all stakeholders abide by that rule. If you're a student, go by the rules. If you're an invigilator, go by the rules. If you're a WAIEC, go by the rules. So in this particular instance you cited, I'll look into it. It hasn't come to my attention, but thanks for bringing it to my attention we will look into it and put things right where they have to be put right a total of 460,611 students are sitting for this year's examination across the 16 regions of the country prince kwame kuduga's report for joy news wow let me let me take your opinion on this honorable you are a teacher it's sad though um and like you rightly put it, at our time, even when I was even doing my master's at the University of Ghana, when they says, I know how it's very strict, I get up around <laughs> you, 4 a.m. You dare not. I get up around 4 a.m. and I'll get there around 5, uh, five o'clock and I'll be sitting down waiting. Sure. You must take your, what do you call it, the regulations, the rules governing the, uh, for the, uh, what do you call it, the exams. Because this YE exams that they are, this is the worst city I take, it's not only for Ghana. Your certificate is as good as your conduct. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your certificate is as good as your attitude. So that when you send it out there, it can, be, it can compete with other examinations. It is sad that our, 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 our children have allowed themselves this in this mess. But I think that parents must equally take interest when it comes to this very stage, when the students are going to write exam, to let them get up and prepare well for. It is lack of confidence that leads to some of these things. When it's then last minute, they go about trying to see what they can get. And I think that, uh, like the deputy minister said, let's investigate further and see what yeah. actually will happen so that we can stop it. It hasn't happened again. In a, a, again, it has not given a good image to a country as a whole because most of these news items are thrown across the, hmm. country, the world. And so. so for me, it's sad 
and that uh, I empathize uh, with the students themselves. And I think that from now going, every student should take his, his or her exams here. It can, traffic cannot be an, uh, an excuse. I keep telling people, you stay in the city, like, like Accra. Traffic should not be a problem to you. Mm. You should know when to get up and come. Look at the time we get up we to come here. We know where the potholes are. And look are. at our ages <laughs> and so on. We, we know where the potholes uh -huh. are. So we, we are driving are. the road. So, so we know the time for, for, for traffic and all. And what are the parents doing? I think this is where the parents also come in. Benji, I want to it's, take a look on it. It's very important that um, we all um, join hands in seeing some of these things and making sure that this... Uh, the Gen Z's, as we all yeah. have come to agree, that um, they, they should take things seriously. I assume that if it was to be the US Embassy and that they had interview as early as 6 a.m. Or the airport. I'm sure that they Don't would be have late. been there maybe probably three hours before yeah. and even go and queue you know, to get these visas. So, I mean, it's very important. This is your life. Please, do not, do not rely on any apport that somebody said is going to send apport to you at 8 o'clock. Meanwhile, you know that the exams, you are supposed to be seated. Because clearly the headmaster or the headmistress said that the rules have been revised. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, during our days as well, we used to wait for apport till maybe like 30 minutes before, mm. before you can get in there. So please, do not rely on friends. Learn, take your books seriously. And Rosalind, we must also condemn the rampant use of social media these days. Yeah. TikTok, for me, social. I mean, it's, 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 it's taking it's destroying them. all of the time of our precious hmm. generation or, or our future generation. So even in the US right now, there is a, a PG on TikTok. Yeah. At first, anybody could assess it. And then we have screen time. That is what these DBs, this is what, that's what uh, the, the rich parents, that's what they do. They have screen time for their kids. So they only allow them maybe an hour on social media. Mm -hmm. Please, parents, take, take charge of your words. Let them not rely on this appall and whatever. It's not going to help them, please. Mm. Anyway, thank you so much, gentlemen, for being here. I'm very grateful that you made time for us to have this conversation. And uh, I told you they were reading, and they were very poised for the conversation. My guests have been Honorable Timothy. I want him. I, I give you time. I give, you, give you time. I give Benji more time. And no, it's, it's not, not possible. It's, it's not, not true. Benji, you know today's my day. I want to also have a big time. I want to give you more time than you did. It. It. It's true. And it will never be set up our time anyway. Thank you this morning, gentlemen. I'm very grateful. And for you at home, thank you so much for sending your messages. I try to read all. Today I did about 80%. You know, I've done well. Anyway, don't forget to be playing the quick cash game. Let's do it some money, 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 money. All right. So dial star 281 hash. Star 281 hash. We are doing our first draw right after sports. <coughs> so first draw happens right after sport. If I were you, I'll play now. Because probably like, you know, this is your chance. Okay? But don't forget that the more you play, the more your chances of winning. So dial star 281 hash, select number seven, which is Joy Prime, and play, play, play. A thousand Ghana cities will be given right after that. I want to say a very big thank you to Franco Trading Enterprise for taking care of us. Whatever gadgets you're looking for, just make sure you go to Franco Trading Enterprise and they will serve you mobile phones, television sets, CCTV cameras, fridges, I mean, all of them. We have them. Uh, you can actually download the app on your phone, Franco Trading app, or visit our website, www.francotradingenterprise.com. Franco Trading Enterprise, still phone for prepare fee. There are a lot of issues that are trending. I cannot wait to hear what's trending. And I cannot also wait to hear what is happening in the world of sports. And also today, we are talking about happiness. <laughs> what makes you happy? Can you control your levels of happiness? Well, we'll delve into that as well. My name is Rosalind Feli. This is All Time Will Permit Me for the News Flash segment. We'll be back again uh, probably in the next two, three minutes for What's Trending. Just stay with us. News Flash was brought to you by Franco Trading Enterprise. Steel. Fun papa fear.